I moved 15 hours from home, completely uprooted my life to come live with a boy. My mistake, I know. Hey guys, it's your girl CC. Welcome back again to another video. I trust you guys are doing great as always. Thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. So I just want us to see this video today and talk about it. I don't know if you have seen this video, but I'm going to share it anyways. So this woman right here in this video, as you can see, she is crying. Now her story is that she moved 15 hours from home, from her support system to go live with her boyfriend. Now, one month into living together, the boyfriend told her that he is in love with another girl. I can't, I can't make these stories up. Please check this video out. Good morning, y'all. Today is going to be a very hard day for me because I moved 15 hours from home, completely uprooted my life to come live with a boy. My mistake, I know. And last night, a month into living together, he tells me that he's still in love with another girl and is choosing to pursue that instead <laughs> i don't really even know how to go about handling this situation i want to handle it with grace i want to be okay with it but it really hurts my heart and i have nobody to turn to because i'm here by myself and <sighs> Ooh. i know my life will go forward i know this is not end all be all but right now it just kind of feels like it because i'm so stuck um, but anyways, I'm going to keep on keeping on. I could have rolled out of bed this morning and just shown up to work like I didn't care, but I decided to dress up. We're going to put face on, show up for my preschoolers, um, look good, play good, feel good. So hopefully that goes into effect pretty soon here, but I'm, tr I have to turn to my TikTok. First of all, I have no followers, so nobody's going to see this, but um, I don't really have anybody to talk to. So this is my outlet. I'm going to vlog every second of my day, tell y'all every single little thought, but this is day one, and I know I'm going to get somewhere. I know I'm going to be fine. It might not be a straight shot, but it's all, it's all for good reason, so... I hope y'all have the best day ever, and if you don't, please let me know so that I can be there for you. Okay. Bye. Now, this is exactly one of the reasons women are scared of men. Now, in my last video, men are saying that women are scaring them away. They brought us some reasons, you know, and I said in that video, it could go both ways. Y'all are just putting all the blame on women. Now, here is a woman crying. She had to leave her support system. She left home to go be with her boyfriend. Only for the boyfriend to tell her one month into living together that he is in love with another woman. Now, what happened to the sacrifices that this woman made? This is bad. This is so bad. Now she is stuck up. She has no one to talk to because it is a new town. She is yet to make friends. She has no one to talk to. She is stuck up. You did not consider that. You were just so fast to tell her that you are in love with another girl. Now, not considering how she's going to feel after making her leave her support system to come and stay with you keep you company, make you happy. Anyways, I just wanted to see a few stitches and I'm going to show you some screenshots of comments. You all know how we do it here. Please check the stitches out. Hurts my heart. You're going to have to remove those rose colored glasses that you're seeing him out of because he's not a good man. He knew before he allowed you to move, before he encouraged you to move 15 hours away from your family, your friends, your support system, that he was having doubts about the relationship. He knew that he was still considering that other woman. This didn't just happen. 
as long as you see him as a good guy, you let him off the hook because good guys don't waste other people's time. Good guys don't lie about how they're feeling. Good guys don't allow somebody to only be four weeks into moving to a new city and state to be like, you know what? This isn't working. If he tries it out with her and realizes that it doesn't work and he realizes that the grass isn't greener on the other side, he's going to come crawling back begging for a second chance. But you never let a man tell you he doesn't want you more than once. So when he leaves, don't just close the door. Nail it shut. You deserve a man who is sure about you. A man who is delicate and careful with your heart. He was negligent. That proves to you that he did not deserve you. Not now and not then. A month into living together, he tells me that he's still in love with another girl and is choosing... Whatever you do, don't let him back in. It's that simple because he's going to come back to you. He's going to call you. Baby, I miss you. No. Hang up the phone. Lock his number. Lock him on Instagram, on Facebook, on Snapchat, on the X. Block him on freaking everything. Lock his number. Don't accept text messages. Don't listen to his voicemails. Nothing. Because he does not deserve you. Sorry, my hair is awful because I just got out of the shower. He does not deserve you. He does not deserve you. You are too sweet, too obviously beautiful, too obviously kind to be with a jerk like that. And all you're doing is... You're, you're, you're so, you don't realize how lucky you are. If you would have stayed with him longer and longer and longer, that relationship would have went nowhere. And you would have been in a, what I call, a stale relationship. It would drag and drag and drag and drag until all of his true colors showed. It would still drag after that until you finally look at all the time you've wasted with a jerk. And you, then you're going to feel awful about yourself. Please, I beg you with all my heart don't ever go back to him and do that for you and you know what if she does take him if this girl he wants to pursue does take him you're not giving him you're not giving her your good boyfriend you're giving her your trash that guy is trash and men like him are trash because he very well knew that he was going to pursue her after he moved in because what he was doing and i promise from my whole heart i promise you he was already talking to her and he has already been pursuing her the whole time y'all have been in a relationship and now he knows he has a chance so what he didn't want to do was stay single while he was pursuing her in case she turned him down so you were the backup plan and you were not that unworthy enough to be a backup plan you are so worthy for all the love in the world trust me and he is he is not worthy for you a man like that is not worthy for you i've been in a relationship like that and i felt when my now ex we're calling chris was pursuing other girls while we were in a relationship i felt it and he still would not break up with me and I would try to break up with him, and he'd be like, no, we're not. I'm not breaking up with you. I'm sorry. Nuh-uh. And it was, like, really weird until I met my now husband who saved me from that. And now I'm in a happy, healthy relationship where I'm happily married and we go to church again and all that stuff. But just, just trust me. You don't need a guy like that. You don't need a guy that is unworthy of you and a man like that is unworthy of anyone and this girl he's pursuing this girl that he's probably going to end up dating for a while he's going to get bored of her too because a man like that can't settle because a man like that wants something so specific and he's not even worthy of it just move on you deserve better what you need to do is make yourself happy. Make you happy without the need of a man. And once you can make yourself happy, then get a man involved in your life. Because you already take care of yourself. Find a man that's taking care of himself. And just make life easier on each other. I say this with all my girl love for you. And for all my girl love for any girls watching this. You don't deserve a man like that live with the boy my mistake i know and i'm really sorry about that because that 
is beyond shitty. But I keep seeing comments saying, immediately leave, ghost him, grieve in private, never let them see you hurting. And you know what? I used to think this was the move, but now I know men. They truly do not care. So they're not going to learn any lesson. They're not going to know that you're upset. They're going to think that's okay. And while we aren't training them, because that's not our responsibility, you need to grieve to him. You need to direct your anger, your frustration, your upset to the right person. Or it comes out in other ways, or it gets repressed, which is even worse. Yell and scream. Maybe not yell and scream, but you know, yell and scream and get it out to him. Cry to him. We always run to our girlfriends and cry to our girlfriends and we never tell them what's upsetting us. And I believe that is what's creating this cycle of no accountability. They don't have any accountability. Uh, I don't know if they are that dense that they think um, when we don't react, we aren't feeling it. But because they're men, we are all taught not to show them how we feel because then we're labelled as crazy. Be crazy. If they've hurt you, show them they've hurt you. Don't move out immediately. He wants to pursue that woman. Okay, live in that house as a flatmate till you've got your shiz organised. Do not put yourself out. You've already put yourself out enough. You moved it. I know it's hard. I know you're upset. Cry in front of him. Burst out into tears in front of him if that's what you feel like doing. Like, I get the whole don't have that conversation with him because he's not listening and yeah, you don't have to have a conversation, but just in the middle of your breakfast, act like he's not there. If you feel like bursting into tears, burst into tears. Let him see what he has done. I think we need to start letting men see the damage that they cause. And it probably won't stop them, but it, it might make them think a little a little bit before they do it again. But how many times do you think he's done that to a woman? I don't think it's the first. If he just casually comes in and goes, mm, I've decided to pursue somebody else. He also did that to you because of your kind, loving nature, and he knew you would cop it on the chin. So you immediately moving your stuff out, going to a hotel room, et cetera, et cetera, is just proving his point that yeah, he chose the right person to F over because he knew you weren't going to do anything back. Um, I get when they cheat, you disappear forever. Like, for instance, if you're married, you find out they're cheating, you just disappear. A woman moved an entire house. That's genius. That That's when you say nothing and you go when they don't know that you know. Sure, unless you've got money together and you need to get money from them. But this situation, I'm like, I make it as hard as, as possible for him. Tell him, okay, well, now you've got to find somewhere else. Do not pay for a hotel room. Tell him if he wants you to go, and it is his problem now, he needs to pay for a hotel room until you find somewhere else for a month. Otherwise, guess where you live? Unfortunately, you live with him. Like, everyone's saying get a hotel room and just leave, and I'm like, do you want to know how expensive that's going to be? Like, she's, she can't just get one for one night. It's going to be months to find a new place. Make it his problem. And the way to make it a man's problem is make his pockets hurt. Say to him, pay for my hotel room. I'm going to go to one tonight. You can at least pay for it. I'm coming back. I don't know how long it'll take me to find a place, so there'll be no pursuing some other woman. Like, don't bring her back here because I'm going to fucking lose it if you bring her back here. So he can go on dates, but then he's going to get real upset that he can't bring her back, and maybe he won't do this to another woman. Like, I don't know, but he may learn something from the experience. I would be that man's karma. I would be like, <laughs> the fuck you think I'm going to pack my shit and leave immediately at the drop of a hat when you've demanded because you've just like decided in your little pea brain that you're going for somebody else like you 
you now realize you love you knew you loved them the whole time but you've got yourself into this mess and you're gonna have to get yourself out and i ain't just disappearing there's no way there's not there's no i don't think that's the move at all the whole disappear never speak to them again only if you hold all the cards only if you've got all the money only if the house is in your name like that woman who moved a house yes but only then like only if like the lease is in your name you move out break the lease never contact them again yeah then do it but if the lease is in his name um or you're both on the lease you just you're just making it easy for them like you really have to sort of you know play their game and uh I don't know, I just think the whole ghosting and never speaking again, it doesn't always, it's not always the move. Like, everyone says, don't send that paragraph. Nah, I'll send it. Like, I just had a dude say, oh, I just don't think you're interested. Like, I told him I had the flu, and he said he was going to take me on a date, but he did the whole, wanted to meet up quickly, he did the whole, um, oh, just message me and was like, so you want to catch a movie? And I was like, where? Like, wasn't going i said no i've got stuff on he couldn't handle that and he's like i've tried to meet up with you and oh, i just don't want to talk for a really long time blah, blah. no you just want to get laid like you just want to, and, I, and he said oh i don't think you're interested i said the irony of that when i ask you what your favorite food is and you give me a one word answer that was steak i said that could have been a whole conversation you didn't ask me what i like to eat you didn't tell me where you were because you're probably on a date I tell him, I just go, no, I didn't tell him the whole, you were probably on a date. I said, the irony of you saying, I'm not interested when you give me one word answers. He didn't like that because it's true, because I meant to chase him. I meant to put all the effort in. No, sir, I'm going to let you know you put in no effort whatsoever. And he kept dangling the carrot of a date in front of me. He's going to pick me up and take me on this romantic date, he kept saying. And then he would literally at 7 p.m. at night be like want to hang out <laughs> like uh no he won't improve he won't improve for the next person because i didn't say oh you didn't properly take me on a date da, 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 da. i didn't say any of that i just said the irony of me not being interested and you give a one word answer bro he'll still give a one word answer to the next person i ain't teaching him anything that's that wasn't the real reason but i was like i'm not gonna let you try to tell me i'm the problem go fuck yourself you're the problem you didn't put any effort in and he would know that he knows what he's doing so saying it the reason i say it is to let them know i'm not fucking stupid that's what i'm saying let them know you're not fucking stupid and you're not a fucking pushover and ghosting and not saying anything is pushover like you have to tell the people that hurt you and fuck you over that they've hurt you they fuck you over and you ain't making it easy for them they really should have thought about what they were doing and who they were dealing with before they started this BS. Like, this man has done this, as weird as it sounds, on purpose. Like, he knew that you would be loving and kind and get very upset. And like you said, I want to do it with grace. Don't have any grace. No grace. You have grace with people who deserve it. He doesn't deserve it. You have free range to just act however you feel. And that's important. Do whatever you feel. Stop repressing how we feel because we might look crazy. They're going to tell everyone you're crazy anyway. If you were the nicest, kindest person, he's going to turn around, tell the woman that he loves that you were obsessed with him. You just rocked up one day and moved in. So maybe act on knowing that information. Because I swear, if he's that kind of man to do something like that to you, that's what he's going to tell people. Like, no grace. He don't deserve it. So I took some screenshots of comments from her comment section so you guys can see what other people said about the video. Now, the reason of showing you this comment is for you all to see, you know, people that could not stitch the video because some of them also shared their stories, how their man left them after moving from one city to another city basically like moving to a city where the boyfriend lives basically and um please pause to read this comment if you want to now from this comment you could see women coming all out giving their support to this woman telling her to go back home or rent another apartment you know just 
figure out what can make her happy and get on with it also in the comments some women were advising you know you know women not to leave their comfort home you know to go live with a man basically not to you know sacrifice that because obviously it is not favoring them because we have seen multiple videos and from the comments some women were sharing their stories in my own opinion this is very bad he knew from the day one that he is not in love with this woman and yet you made her leave her comfort zone you made her leave her support system to come live with you that is that is that is bad Anyways, guys, I thought I should bring this video here. Let me know what you all think in the comments. Do you think this is what you can do? Can you make this sacrifice? Anyways, you guys, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, share, comment, and of course, come back for another video. I'm going to see you all in my next one. Y'all be blessed. Bye.